Today let us know about PARAC RS 2024. PARAC is an abbreviation where it stands for Performance Assessment Review and Analysis of Knowledge for Holistic Development. RS means Rastriya Sarvekshan 2024. PARAC is a national level assessment center wherein it is mandated to conduct large scale assessments across the country. So why it is, let us know why it is conducted. This, this type of Rastriya Sarvekshan. So this is to know the uh, health of the system, health of the education, school education system. And uh, actually from NEP 2020, we are moving from information or memory based learning to competency based learning or a learning outcome based learning. So to know more about how children actually uh, have uh, acquired competencies or learning outcomes, this assessment is done and to assess and analyze the quality of education in the country. So let us see about the scope of this uh, assessment. This study, assessment study conducted in three different classes, 3rd, 6th and 9th. This is conducted in all the states, that is 36 states and union territories and districts 781 districts you can imagine across the country this uh, assessment has been conducted schools 74229 schools uh, this assessment has been conducted that too in all government aided and private and also central government schools in all types of schools this assessment is conducted so teachers interviewed are so 2.7 lakh teachers and students altogether in all these three classes, 21.15 lakh students. So in this manner, this study is very huge in uh, numbers and also this has covered length and breadth of the country. See the subject wise performance across the country. This is the national level analysis wherein subject wise class wise analysis of performance across the country. So in third standard, language and mathematics only this uh, assessment has been conducted in sixth standard language mathematics and world around us and then in ninth standard in four subjects the assessment has been conducted language mathematics science and social science you can see in the third standard the performance was 64 percent when it comes to sixth standard in language it is 57 percent so you can see 7% drop from 3rd standard to 6th standard in language and in 9th standard this is 54% then they drop further drop of 3% from 6th standard to 9th standard totally from 3rd standard to 9th standard more 10% drop we can see here 64% is there here 54% is there performance is so 10% drop is there. You, you can see in the uh, mathematics that in third standard 60% is the achievement and then in the sixth standard it comes to 46%. You see 14% drop from third standard to sixth standard and in when it comes to ninth standard this is 37% that is 9% drop is there. So totally from third standard to ninth standard 23% drop you see 60% in third standard when it comes to 9th standard, it is 37%. So in 9th standard, mathematics is, the performance of mathematics is very poor when it comes to national level. And in 6th standard, in world around us, 49% is there. So in 9th standard, 40% is there, uh, science. And then social science is also 40%. So in the report, you can also see gender-wise analysis and location-wise like rural and urban and management-wise analysis also you can See and also social category wise analysis also you can find out. So in in the gender wise, girls are a little bit faring better when compared to boys in few subjects and in few standards. But the difference is marginal in nature. But whereas in location wise, urban rural when it, when it comes to urban and rural, uh, in third standard, rural ch children have fared better. And in, when it comes to 6th and 9th standard, urban students have fared better. And when it comes to management, in 3rd standard, government and aided schools have fared better. But when it comes to 6th and 9th standard, uh, central government schools, 
and private schools actually they have done the performance is better the competencies in which how the students have been performed at the national level so in the third standard there are few competencies or learning outcomes in which students found very difficult so there is a mention in the report that when there is a below 50% of achievement in a particular competency we need to have some targeted interventions to address those learning gaps so in the slides you can see in the screen you can see which are the competencies in the third standard and sixth standard and ninth standard in, in different subjects in which the students need to uh, uh, acquire those competencies in a familiar manner and performance of different states we can see in the report we can there is a mention that 10 high performing districts and 10 low performing districts have been mentioned in the report and common in these third sixth and ninth we can see punjab is the one in which the excellent uh, uh, performance uh, in the punjab in all the three classes and kerala himachal pradesh rajasthan maharashtra and odisha these are the common states in which in all the three classes the performance is very good when it comes to low performing uh, districts gujarat meghalaya and jammu kashmir and puducherry these are the four states which are common in all the three reports all the three classes and when it comes to uh, in the report there is a mention that 50 high performing districts and 50 low performing districts have been mentioned in the report so punjab there are total 23 districts in the punjab out of which in third standard 20 districts are actually fared uh, they are top in in those uh, uh, third standard 20 districts in 66 standard 16 districts of punjab are in top 50 and in ninth 18 districts are in top 50 districts when, when it comes to kerala in third standard three districts are in on top in sixth 10 districts are in top 50 districts and in ninth nine districts of kerala are in top so when it comes to karnataka in third standard vijayapura is in the bottom no districts are in, in the list top 50 districts but in when it comes to kerala karnataka they are in the bottom 50 districts vijayapura is in the bottom 50 districts in third standard in sixth standard bellari and Bidar are in the top in the below 50 districts and in ninth four districts that is Bidar, yadgir chikbalapur and ramnagara these are the four districts which are in the bottom uh, 50 districts and the last section in the report mentions that targeted interventions so we have actually uh, there is a uh, f we found out which are the areas in which the that needs some targeted interventions to address so here it is a mention that we can find out find out learning gaps in different subjects and in different classes so all the states need to address those learning gaps with many interventions so one such intervention is use of innovative assessment strategies so all the states need to undertake uh, innovative assessment strategies those include self assessment and project work peer assessment and portfolios so in these four uh, different types of assessment strategies project work and self assessment actually they are commonly practiced uh, project work is extensively used the use of portfolios is also observed but it is less in number so portfolios we need to use as an assessment strategy and also nista and diksha platforms we need to use those platforms uh, so that teachers can uh, take the advantage of those platforms to access capacity building mod modules and the third one is diverse pedagogical approaches so teachers need to uh, teach students in different pedagogical approaches like experiential learning competency based assessments arts integrated learning sports integrated learning and also toy based learning so these are the five different pedagogical practices in which 
teachers need to use and also when it comes to ninth standard skills in education is most important so very few schools are uh, providing skills in education any skill based course for grade 9 students it's about 47% and learning teaching material at schools so how uh, the many schools actually using these uh, availability and also usage of learning teaching materials at schools teachers using kits for maths language and science and also teachers having adequate resource book and also teachers using jadu e pitara schools having adequate audio visual resources for delivery instruction and also experiential experiential learning opportunities in schools which are sports activities these are all very most important for uh, um, the learning not only inside the classroom outside the classroom like sports activities cultural activities literary activities reading activities art club art activities science exhibition activities school fair activities these are most implement most important activities in which we need to take care and also community participation is also very important and students outside the educational system so schools offering career guidance so that is also most important and state and friendly school environment in this section there is a clear mention that many schools have reported uh, that uh, students have been threatened by their friends by their classmates that is 22% and students reported being hit or pushed around by their classmates students reported being excluded from group activities by their classmates 25% students reported that their classmates made fun of them so mocking at them that is 32% students reported being teased by other students that is 32% so anti bullying policy in which school whether schools have are adopted students reported feeling safe at schools schools reported a child protection policy like pokso and schools reported having a policy on the prevention of sexual harassment of the at the different uh, uh, at the workplace so these are the the safe and uh, friendly school environment is also important and also use and availability of technology for better learning so this is also there is a mention that there is students having a laptop desktop tablet for learning at home only 33% is there and also the last section is essential school facilities is also there and need to focus on social emotional learning that is also most important inclusiveness at schools and continuous professional development is also there so there are these are the targeted interventions in which all of us need to target these interventions and uh, make the schools a better place for learning and also uh, enable the students to uh, acquire learning objectives learning outcomes and or competencies thank you so much you can also find this report in in the uh, parak website and i have actually mentioned the link in the description box Please go through that.